Safety matters and many will light fireworks this 4th of July, but a specialist working at Overton Brooks VA Medical Center says you may want to have a conversation with your neighbors first. As NBC6's Jesse Kelly reports, it's out of courtesy for veterans dealing with PTSD. Veterans liken fireworks to gunshots or bombs. The 4th of July is a celebration for your family. But for some veterans, it brings plenty of stress. And they're conditioned from combat to take cover. According to Davis, not all veterans hearing fireworks are triggered. She says, if you live near a veteran, communicate. Let them know you are planning to shoot fireworks so they can prepare themselves. No, so they can leave the house or go for a drive or they can put their headphones on or turn up their music. Large crowds can also cause issues. Crowds trigger the traumatic response because of the trust factor, just feeling like the world is a dangerous place. Davis works with veterans in advance to help them find techniques which combat stress. There are cognitive uh, processing, you know, thinking, thinking uh, techniques that we can help them with. To make the 4th of July success for everyone, make sure you communicate. It would be considerate to them. If you know that a combat veteran who is sensitive to fireworks lives next door. Absolutely the right thing to do. That was Jesse Kelly reporting. For veterans struggling with PTSD this 4th of July, there is a crisis line you can call. That number is 1-800-273-8255. Military Matters Overton Brooks held its Independence Day celebration today. Barksdale Honor Guard was on hand performing a flag folding ceremony. Independence Day does uh, carry, you know, a m meaning to me. Uh, having served, uh, you know, as a part of our United States Armed Forces, um, you know, I, you know, have a special place in my heart for all of us who have served in uniform. Harla Jads, if you get the chance, shake a hand or say thank you to a veteran who has served our country. Meanwhile, the